Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Cube World. Today, we are exploring more of this wonderful, wonderful game. I'm just so excited to play more. It's weird because I'm still recording this on the first day the game came out. I had expected, I was like, okay, I'll record three videos, I'll see how it goes, maybe I'll do more later. This is my sixth video today on just this game. I'm having so much fun with that, I just I just gotta keep playing it. Um, but yeah, we, we've been doing quite a lot. Last episode, we went to the, where was it? The mana pump, way over this way. Um, it was very interesting. Um, we ended up getting it all done. We went back home and we were able to buy some pretty good gear. We can even take on a single legendary at this point. So I figured we would double back and start getting some things done over this way. So the best way to do that is to go to Kurok's house, I think, and then just get, I want to get Asdor men here done, the camp and uh, Lakor graveyard. So um, that'll be pretty important, especially since I think the one camp should be some kind of um, book. And so far the books have been really good because they get us new stuff that we can purchase. So definitely worth our while. So let's continue with it. Um, I forgot how to use the thing already. I did take like a few hours break between episode five and episode six. Don't get me wrong. Oh gosh, I'm drowning. Uh, but it's still just six episodes in one day of just one game. I've been doing other stuff too. I've been busy with like Mario Kart Tour and Plans for Zombies 2 today. It's been a busy day, but it's been fun. I like doing it. Um, so over this way, we'll first save the gnome at Asdor Men here. And we will also, ooh, this is new. Mana, ma, monar, monorchid, manorchid. There we go, sweet. Um, let's ride on Frederick again. Actually, let me get this bush as well, because these all drop good stuff. And I'm sure I'll eventually put it more to use than I have been for right now, but We'll get there, we'll get there. Okay, so, uh, what is going on over this way? Get a little bit more of a walk. I don't know what this area is supposed to be. Whoa, look at these guys. Usually these enemies are one star. This time they're three. So I guess, like, what star they are sort of changes. I'm not doing that correctly. You gotta, like, press spacebar right away. Um, and this is another cotton plant. I'll grab that. But uh, yeah, I should be able to start fighting these guys, no problem. Three stars should be easy for us at this point. As you can see, that is definitely the case. Grab some of that money. Now that's the boss though, so I will like to wanna take him on one on one, so trying to take care of all of his friends first. There it is, <laughs> oh man, that feels good. That feels so good to get rid of a three star so easily. Um, and then I can do this and then stun him. And now this guy has a ton of health. He's definitely a bit more of a out tank. I'm not really very big on the health department, and that's what I need to sort of change while I have the chance to eventually, hopefully. Oh, he's trying to heal. Put a stun to him. Stun wasn't enough. I need to also learn how to dodge a bit more. But anyways, there it is. What did we get? We got the glorious cotton chest armor of Lilia, and that's legendary. So let's take a look at that. Whoa. And what does that go over? Whoa, so that's a chess piece, and that's legendary. That did a lot, so this is what I used to have. So if I put this on again, you see, it gave me plus 26.7 armor, plus 22 resistance. I was literally just saying we need to work on getting more health and armor. What do you know, this added 679 HP. So like, boom, that is so good. So good, super exciting start to today's episode, if you ask me. Now let's go save a gnome. Um, where do I wanna go for that? Oh, there's a couple of people to talk to. Let's see if we can't start any more quests. Hello there, it's good to see you. It's good to see you too. You look like an explorer, I am. Oh, hello, my name is Chogo. Nice bunny, oh, thank you. Uh, his name's Frederick. Uh, haven't you found the legendary book of crafting yet? Well, that's what I'm actually going to find later in today's episode, hopefully. Uh, have we met before? We have not, but it's nice to meet you. Okay, so let's head this way then and see what we can end up going get going on. Am I close or am I not? Let me zoom in as much as I possibly can. So yeah, it's right over this way. There's some snails to fight as well, who some of which have already taken damage from something. These guys should be pretty easy, but you know, the more enemies I can fight, the better, right? Uh, Get you beat up if I can. Oh, going against all of them at once, huh? No problem, no problem for us. We're awesome frog warriors. Whoa, these guys are new too, they're orcs. All right then. Okay, we got him. <laughs> uh, and there's another snail over this way. 
we can just take out two hits, like no problem. We definitely need to earn up our money because I spent a lot of money last episode. Getting this crafting book will allow us to get more stuff, so it'll be worth it. So what's going on here? Oh no, there's a poor gnome in a cage. Who took him? It must be these nobolds. Uh, hey, you over there. I need your help. Don't worry, I got you. I got you, buddy. Let's start just with like one or two at a time because you know it's still not perfectly easy. Oh man, this is everyone though. Oh, this could still do me in. I gotta be careful. It's still tough. I don't have the most health in the world. I still need to pick people off. Ow, one by one. I was so confident too. Um, what is that? I'll have to check that out in a second. Um, oh no, this is not what I wanted. This is not what I'd, oh yeah, that's right. I have the health potion so I can actually heal. I need to take you out first because you are a major problem right now. I can heal while running with the health potion. Okay, ready for this, ready for this. Boom, yeah, there we go, that's what I'm talking about. Now we can go for you, and then boom, do the super stab move again. Gotcha, now it's just you. That's much easier to deal with, maybe. <laughs> it's still to be de determined on that one, I suppose. There we go, come on. You are tough. Okay, back to using the heal potion. I need to make more of these or buy more of them or something because they are good. They are really good. Okay, come on. This sword is really nice too. And it swings so fast. Oh my gosh, I was hitting like 195 each, each strike, 257 three times in a row. Oh, that didn't work for some reason. Ow, that stunned me. I am definitely gotta get better at listening for when they're going to do that. Come on. They're still hurting me, but I'm hurting back, so that's good. Ooh, tried to listen for that, but it didn't quite work. There we go, you're stunned again. We should be able to get you here. Come on, there it is! We get the Magic Iron Sword of Drurek, the Magnificent Linen Shoulder Armor of Zelaya, and a Golden Key. I don't know what to do with the Golden Key, but we can at least take a look at that other stuff. So, none of that I can equip. <laughs> That's fine, it happens. We'll at least be able to sell it, and we can free the note maybe? Oh no, there's still more. There is still more. Let's go get these other nobolds. Actually, I should heal first, if they're not gonna bother me. Definitely worth doing. This is so much fun, though. I really enjoy this game. Okay, ready? Go for it. Come on, now. There it is. And then once you're stunned, you guys are basically done for. There we go. And of course, it does still take some good work to actually take them out all the way. Especially since this sword isn't legendary. It's almost legendary, it's like, it's four star. But once we get a legendary sword, it's game over for these guys. Yeah, our, our sword is purple. Uh, but now some of our other gear is pretty good. And we're just sort of putting some good strategies to work. Uh, hey, you over there, I need your help, I know, but. Oh no, I got you, I just gotta open it up. Well, there we go, thank you, thank you. Um, and we also got the glorious long sword of Ampa. Oh, I was just talking about that. Wait, what did you say before? I don't know. Um, but I guess that maybe unlock something, more stuff to buy. But yeah, we just got a better sword. And it has 37 more damage, 373 more HP. Uh, oh, here we go. 3.4 more haste, the same amount of critical. There we go. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it, that was so good. So now we have a legendary sword. Look at this thing. I cannot wait to try that out a little bit more. But we got the check mark for this area, and as you can see, there is another save area. I would like to make the most of that. I love these little be beetles, they're so cute. Um, but first off, climb up here and use the Shrine of Life. That's good, it's been a productive 10 minutes to this episode, and we're not quite done. We're gonna be moving to the camp over this way now. Um, so I'll zoom back in, I guess, for now. At least we'll do something like that, and we'll keep moving. Grab as many apples as I can. They're right here. I'm gonna use this one. And now that I have, I'll pick up another one. <laughs> that's good, that's good. Yeah, but it was over this way. You can already see it. I'll ride our, our bunny friend, because he's very helpful like that. Yeah, grab some of those, and let's keep moving. We got more Scottish Terriers. Still don't know how to catch those guys. I don't know how to catch anybody but the bunny. I'll have to change that sooner or later. Oh boy. <laughs> the Chillings. I haven't actually fought the Chillings yet, have I? And there's an Orc. Let's first try to fight some of the Chillings. Come on. Oh, nice. They don't drop anything more than coins. Because I know that like a lot of the other vegetable 
type enemies seem to drop more than just, oh boy. More than just coins, they, you know, the, like the onion guys and the radish guys usually drop pieces of onion and radish, but I guess not so much for this. There's some more ginseng. Mushrooms, nice. And boom, there we go, okay, we're back on our bunny. I'm almost at the camp. And this should unlock the book of crafting or something. So that'll be really cool. I'm really looking forward to all of that. I mean, at this rate, I really don't know what else there will be to do in this in this uh, whole map area. I mean, I guess we'll just sort of just poke around with it. Because there's still like a big chunk of the world I haven't explored. If I could just get one of them. And not all of them, he was sleeping. Oh, here he goes. <laughs> None of his friends noticed, poor him. No, you don't. Yeah, he tried to start healing there. I'd rather him not do that. Ah, oh, that got all of them. Dang, that stinks. But that's why I use my uh, ninjutsu and start tackling them like that. There we go, I already got rid of one of them. Oh, the guys are stunned. There we go. No, wait, 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 wait. Oh, but he took me out. It was this dude. He took me out. Keep fighting him, bunny, buddy. I'll try to get out there, but I might actually need your help. Darn, that stinks. But that's okay, it happens. Um, we at least made them drop some stuff. It looked like they dropped like an Oreo or something. <laughs> that's what it looked like. So we'll run back over there and see if I can't get um, that stuff picked up at the least. I hope it would still be there. You'd imagine it would be. I'm gonna get up this way this time. Yeah, this is much better. Because from here, I can jump, glide, and actually use my thing. Who are they fighting now? They were fighting somebody, I thought. Maybe not, maybe not. Hard to tell. Uh, but we're back at the camp. It looks like there's somebody there, doesn't it? It's an undead, but it's different, weird. For right now, though, I'll put away this. What did we get here? Chocolate cookie, I was not wrong. That's funny. I would love to just be able to get one of them. But I took out a bunch of them there, is the thing, you know? Oh, oh, no, no, no. I tried, it didn't work out. But that's okay, once again, I will focus on this guy first. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. But man, does that, it's that mage. He hurts so bad, I need to get rid of him. He's so tough to deal with though. So there is less of them to deal with this time. We are just going to try to go in, and if I could, okay, so I already activated it by accident, but that's fine. Why is this not working? There we go, right, right? There we go, he's gone. So it's just me and him now, which is so much easier. There we go, he's stunned, go for him. Nice. Okay, stun him again. What is this? I don't know, I can't move. Uh, that's weird. Come on, come on, he's almost done. He's finished. Where is he going? Wait, come back. Okay, he was healing, which I don't appreciate. No, Frederick, you monster. You beat up Frederick, so I gotta beat up you. Come on, come on, come on. No, he got me again. What was going on that time? I don't even know, but okay. Like fifth time's the charm. It's only him now. So me and Frederick are gonna go kick his butt. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I'm gonna get him this time. It's just me and him. So there's like no way I, I won't be able to get him here, you would think. I mean, he actually hasn't done really much damage at all to me. Yeah, like look at how easy it was that time. Like nothing. We get ourselves a unique iron long sword of Azazia, which isn't better than what I have. We also get the iron, the shining iron gloves of Zeba, which is only warrior, unfortunately. The delicate key for the for the uh, Anka Plains. Weird, I don't know what that's about. But yeah, there's Zora the Undead over here. Are you okay? Could you maybe help me? I helped you, don't worry. And as you can see, that got me the legendary book of crafting. Oh, I didn't want to sleep. I didn't know I could sleep. Okay, that's cool. We also get the shining silver amulet washer. Actually, first, you received the legendary book of crafting. You can now craft the legendary equipment in the Anka Plains. We also picked up the shining silver amulet of Doraris, which might be our best amulet yet. This adds 11.9 haste, but minus 4.1% critical, but 12.5 regeneration. I think that might be worth it then. I'm gonna go ahead and equip that. Sounds good to me. Um, what is this on the floor? Oh, it's like a ball and chain, poor guy. I appreciate it, you're welcome. What's going on inside of this? Oh, Divine Harp. 
Oh, that's so cool. I thought that maybe I was gonna need the golden key or something. I don't know what to do with the keys. Whoa, it is the handsome silver ring. We received the handsome silver ring. Oh, that's it. So what does that do? Does, does that just add stats? Oh, it's actually better than my current ring now. All right, cool. That added, what? Um, 2.1 haze, 0.1 critical, 4.4 regeneration. All right, oh, and he's walking around now. Isn't that fantastic? Okay, so I don't see too much more around this area specifically, so what we can do now is we can zoom out and see what else we want to accomplish. I mean, I know that over this way, there's the Lakecore Graveyard. We got our butts kicked the last time we tried to go there, so I think this time we will try again. Apparently there's some stuff here at Maram's house I missed out on. No, I did that though, I remember. Why is there no check mark there anymore? Weird. Um, maybe we can go figure that out, but I'm more interested later is going to the Lanry or Ra Lake and try to get things done there. But for right now, we will teleport back to this one and try to get to that graveyard again. So yeah, it should be uh, over this way. I sort of went the wrong direction for a second. But man, I just like, I know that we just died like five times, but I feel pretty invincible about a lot of stuff right now. I mean, of course, as long as we keep trying and to take out a couple of enemies and do it in a systematic way, we can basically take on whatever the game throws at us for now. I'm sure the difficulty is gonna go up a bit more and when it does, I'll try to be ready for it. But for right now, the, the game's working out for us pretty well. I'm happy with it. Actually, I should talk to these guys and the ones over there because they could give me some quests. Um, whoa. And more of them over that way. Hello. Uh, is that a sky whistle? Yes, it is. Uh, you want a lemon beetle? I got the long sword. Yep, I do. Okay, so let me run back this way and then I'll talk to those guys because some of them could go, oh, you gotta do this thing and then I'll do it and then I'll be great or at least I'll pop up my map for me to do it later. Uh, talk to you. You already have the supplier gnome in the cola something. Yeah, the cola rocks. My name is Slilula. Yeah, we have not met before, but maybe actually we have. I don't know. So I don't know why they're all sort of invisible all the time. It's sort of weird. Okay, see ya. <laughs> that was good. Uh, let's catch up with these guys before they go. Hello. Uh, good day, I found climbing spikes at the... Oh, see, that's what I'm looking for right there. Um, vampires are so dangerous. Yeah, I know, they're right over here. Hello, nice to meet you. you look so strange, thanks. Oh, uh, hello, I'm Quibwib. Okay, so what was the new thing that popped up that he talked about right here, over rocks? That's actually right by the neck of the woods we'll be going to anyways, and that's exactly what I want to find, is stuff like that. I also need to start getting like the iron deposit and stuff because these raw materials are really important because I'm pretty sure these are the only kind of things, I already have one of those, um, that we can bring to different areas, different lands, and still be able to make use of, at least in their base form. So that's just good to keep in mind. Anyways, gonna keep going down this way for now because we're almost at the graveyard. Oh, I love the alpacas. I had to find out what the alpacas like. I haven't actually tried it out with them, so we're gonna figure that out now. Um, would you like a banana split? Or some popcorn? Or some caramel chocolate bars? Chocolate cookie, pancakes, strawberry juice, uh, mineral water, peanut, cabbage rolls, nothing? You're a picky eater. So am I, though. Can't blame you. Um, if a zebra was in this game, I'd better believe that you have to offer them pizza. So what's going on over this way? We got a ton of stuff going on. So many enemies. I'm hoping this doesn't alert the whole cavalry. Actually, it didn't even alert him. Okay, there they go, now they're mad. Come on. You sort of hurt, but also not really. There we go. Okay, ready for this? There it is, ow. Okay, that sort of hurts. Ready? Ah, yeah! Got him, got him, and got him. Now I gotta turn around and deal with his friend, stun him. There it is. Wow, we got lots of stuff there. And was that it? Did we get a check mark? Um, we got some legendary gear there for sure, but we might not quite be done because the other person was fighting them from this side before I don't see them anymore. No, that's a check mark. Okay, cool. Yeah, I don't really see the person I saved, but I do see some money I want to pick up. Because last time there was actually a person here to save, and they were trying to fight off the other people. 
I couldn't do it though, I wasn't strong enough, but now we are much stronger. The the progression seems pretty exponential once you get a couple of key items, which is really cool. What are those? Those are collies. I don't know if I've checked if I have the things for collies, but anyways, I want to find my entrance into here. I think I'm going to end up needing the flute, or whatever turns me... No, the flute does not turn you. I think it was the bell? Is this the door? Or is this a window? That's a win- No, 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 no. Okay, so I don't even need it for this area. Which might mean this, that there's nothing of note around here. But I will find out. Uh, can I fit up here? Sort of, no. Okay, am I stuck? Luckily I'm not, I'll try the other staircase. The generation of this building is not very good. So there was another room up there. There had to be. It's weird how we'll have these buildings with nothing in them. I just wanna get up there. <laughs> It will not let me. Yeah, I can't get up there. What a shame! I don't know what's up there. Oh, man. Anyways, uh, I tried my best. Didn't work out. Let's take a look at some of the cool new stuff we got. So we just go all the way back up to the top. I got the Magnificent Iron Fist of Zerkor, but that's worse than what I currently have, so. I don't know, I guess I'm about ready just to head back home and trade some of this stuff in, right? Where am I? I'm right over i got to sort of turn this around a little bit. Yeah, okay, so this is the, uh, the village is right here. And then I'm right here. And I've gotten all of this done. Okay. So once again, my goal is going to be doing some of this stuff. Sounds good. Okay, so with that done, like I said, we'll teleport back to Varno Village for now. And at the least, I'll be able to sell my stuff. So that's always good. Um, come here, bunny, bunny pal. And let's see what we can find around here. First, I'll still talk to everybody. Most of them will probably say the same things, but there's the off chance one of them will say something else. And that something else will be a quest, and that'd be pretty important. Can I sleep, like, will that heal me? Sleeping in a bed does heal me. It looks like it also makes the time pass by a little faster, which is good to keep in mind. Have I ever talked to that person over there? I don't know. Uh, I'll find out soon. First, do you have any new, you have another carrot. I'll take the carrot. Also, let me take the glass flasks. I forget where I gotta go. Um. to make potions. Well, I need to make a water flask. What do I gotta do to make a water flask? Uh, I just don't know where that pops up in the menu. Wait here, requires water. So let me go, I have 19 of them. Let me make a couple more then, um, or grab a couple more. 20, one, two, three, four, five. I'll have 25 flasks. Where is some water around here? Where's the nearest source of water? Looks like there's some to my left. At least it looked like it. it was a blue block. I can only imagine that's water. You never know with this game. It can be wild. Yeah, right over this way, I can already see it ever so slightly in the horizon. We got a river of some sort. So I don't know exactly how this works, but I'll just try to sit in the water. Like that. Um. Pull up crafting, yeah, and just do this. Very nice, we're gonna make 25 of them. Look at how fast it goes. Yeah, okay, so now with that, um, if I pull crafting up again, I have the life potions, and I can just make 11 of these right now. They're very useful because they're the only healing item you can use while running at full speed. Uh, which is very vital for combat, especially for a close range fighter. There's also other things like Cactus Potion restores health over nine seconds, like the, the Life Potion restores them over seven. But if you didn't have the right ingredients, you could at least have like a prickly pear, I guess, from a cactus in a desert biome. Um, there's the Elixir of Life, which gives HP plus 20% and also effect lasts for 10 minutes. So we got some other things. Maybe if we run into some really tough things, we could do these Elixir of Life. Um, that requires the Heart Flower, Ginseng root and water flask. Got to keep that in mind. We have the elixir of power, which is damage plus 20%. That is mushroom, dragon root, 
and water flask. We have plenty. We could actually make this right now if we wanted to. Um, I'll keep it in mind. Elixir of toughness, which of course armor plus 20% is mushroom, dew drop, and water flask. So we could make two of those right now, and we can make up to a lot of these, <laughs> like four or five of them, which just seems like a lot of a thing like that. Anyways, now that we figured that out, let me hop back on my bunny pal. I want to sell the stuff I can't use, which I think is just about everything I have right now. Oh, you have a pet owl. Oh, that's cool. It also can help me teach or learn some of the uh, different foods that things like. Oh, you like my name. I like your name, too. Um, Degrim over this way. Let's talk to you. Haven't you found the boat yet? Yes, I have. Well, I mean, I, I found where it is. And there's some more insectoids over this way. Hello. Hi, my name is Lakeen. My aim is to be the most powerful rogue in the world. Well, you have tough competition. Because I'm a rogue. Hi. Uh, I have nice chest armor. Thank you. Oh, so you already discovered the spirit bell? Yep. Greetings. How are you? Nice bunny. Thank you. Okay. But not too much new info, which is what I'm looking for. All right, well, that's fine, it happens. For right now, we're gonna march off to the stores. I'll double check really quickly. I don't need that. I don't need any of this, as far as I can tell. Yep, okay, so I can sell all that stuff. I might as well identify the one thing, too, because that, I guess, will be a guaranteed legendary, right? Uh, we'll find out. The identifier's over this way. And then I can fly wherever I want with the eagle, so it's great that we came back. Oh man, lots going on in today's episode. So yeah, back into here. Right? No. <laughs> Wrong building. This one. Awkward. Sorry. Uh, I will have you identify this for eight gold. It is the, what? Uh, fabulous Gloves of Mechwar. Oh, I can't wear those. Okay. So, I, I get to sell everything I have now, because I don't need any of it. Unless some of it has a plus next to it, which apparently I don't I don't think any of it does. Alright then. Varno Village has been great though. Very helpful. Okay. Unfortunately, most of it doesn't sell for much. Even the legendary stuff, ten coins each. But it all stacks up. That's always good. Do they have anything I, I would really want? Not really. Um, so I'm gonna leave that be. And then there's also stuff like I could add to my sword with upgrades. As you can see, I have like the iron cube. And that's what you can do with this, is I can like select an iron cube and put it here. Like how cool is that? I could, I could put it in different spots and like make like a different thing. There's no way to zoom in though, unfortunately. But you can like make your own sword and I can add some like down here if I wanted to. I'm not gonna do that just yet because I don't know if, like how much time I'll spend in this area. I could save those for something else. Can I interact with the anvil? I could. I can make my own stuff here, too. Um, you could go all the way up to a sublime iron longsword. What do I need for this? I'm missing diamonds. So this is where that kind of stuff can be very helpful. I need 50 iron cubes and four diamond. But the thing is, is like, would I really need that is the question? Will we actually find stuff that's that level of difficulty? I guess we'll have to sort of just wait and see. Um, but for right now, it doesn't seem like there's too much more we can do. So I'm going to head back to Talk to like one or two more people. Uh, thank you. And your favorite pet is the flamingo. Oh, that's cool. Where is the flying guy's over this way? We're gonna take his eagle and go all the way to where the boat is supposed to be. I don't think the boat's gonna be too useful, but I wanna get it. And just be able to get all the things. But you can just go so many places, like it just goes on forever. Isn't that crazy? I don't know where I am right now. Um, okay, uh, hold on. There I am. Uh, <laughs> it'll recenter on you once you zoom out of the map. But it just goes on forever, which is absolutely ridiculous in the best way. But for right now, we are going to go here. How much did that cost? I don't know. A hundred gold. Um, now what? Wait, what did that do? Did, did that not work? I wanna go to the place. Why did that not work? 
I'm so confused now. Um. Oh, okay, so I like I purchased a flight point, and then after that I can go there anytime I want. Look at this, this is so cool, wee! Oh my gosh. You can't even see what's below you anymore. So cool, so very awesome. I, I hope we can get an eagle of our own at some point. I don't know if we can. Oh, and we're, we're gliding. So if we didn't have the, the glide, we'd be dropped to our doom. Wow, that's awful. That's not good service. Ow, <laughs> still got hurt. Who are the bunnies fighting? They're fighting biters. Not good. There we go, I got rid of half of them right there. Come on. There we go, one hit takedown on those guys, great. Are you mad at me? Of course you are, sorry bunny. So, we are going to Lanrior Lake right now, and then we'll move over to Ober Rocks, to say the least. Whoa, what is this? A mana pump, another mana pump situation? This actually shouldn't be that big of a deal. Yeah, we're in a new area right now. It is uh, Thalron L Lake. Okay. Uh, like I can literally take these guys out in one strike. Isn't that crazy? So yeah, we'll just, I guess we gotta run around the perimeter of this lake and destroy this stuff. Hopefully we get something cool for it. Who is this? Woofney, a human? Hello. I need help. I'm trying. Uh, gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> All right, well, this is enjoyably easy. Uh, boom, got it. Where's this guy? See ya. What is this? Mango juice. Sounds good. Uh, what do we got here? We got some kind of uh, amulet. Don't really need it so much, but that's okay. I can just sell it for gold. What did he drop? Oh, he dropped something. Battered iron fist. More things to sell. Nice, ooh, he sold, or dropped some healing items. Always good to see. So, so far, so good with all of this. Uh, I, I definitely am in a good position with everything. Got it. Over this way. See ya. Oh, actually, he took more than one hit. Impressive. How tough are you? Apparently tough enough to take more than one hit. Same thing with this guy. I'll go and grab his stuff. And then there might be something going on in the center of it, because there's like a dock there. Whoa, look at that, we could get up there. That would be great. That's what we use the flute for, I think. As far as I understand. There goes that. Is that all of them? Must not be. I might have to take out all the enemies to save the one lady. I'm gonna assume that's the case. All right, boom. No, wait, come on. Got it. <laughs> Oh, not got me a bomb. Nice stuff. Okay, so maybe now you'll be happy with me? Or maybe it's not a lady, sorry. Uh, thank you! All right, so what did you give me? Some fair iron fists, that's cool. Doesn't look like there's actually anything on that dock. So if we zoom in a little bit more, there's the Lair Lanrear Lake, but where is that? That's really close, there has to be a way to get up there somewhere nearby, and that's gonna be a, yeah, right here. That's going to be a save point, I think. So that'll be nice. Where's uh, where's Frederick? Hey, buddy. I just wanna ride you, because it's a little bit faster. Right up this way. So what we have to do with this, if we didn't have the flute, we couldn't do this, but we do have the flute, so we can do it. We can walk up to this bird statue and use the sky whistle. It's very shiny. And up we go, oh look at the little birdies! We're doing lots of flying in today's episode. The frog's like, I'm not made to fly! Can I control it? I can't. Okay, that'd be pretty cool if I could. Oh, they're so cute. But now that they're propping, popping us off right here, it'd be funny if they just drop me to my doom. What is that? Whoa, and then there's another one way over there, okay. So we have options now. Options upon options. Is it weird? There's occasionally like a palm tree every once in a while. Don't know if there's any significance to that. But anyways, we found the Migram Splendid Cotton Boots, which are slightly better in some ways than what we currently have. Have we finally found better boots? They'd give us less armor, slightly better resistance, more HP, more haste, less critical. Everything wants to knock down our critical. What's our critical at in total? It's at 12.3 and our regeneration up to 24% more. I think I'll take him. I think I'll take it. 
yeah, I think that was overall a good choice. So, we're gonna head this way now. I know I'm getting sidetracked from what we originally wanted to do, but that's just over that way, so I don't think it'd be that big of a deal. Uh, so, because there's also the, the station over that way, which I wanna do. So, let's get to it. Hope for the best and everything. I don't know how tough this is gonna be, so maybe I should get the thing first. That's probably the most wise thing to do. Hey there, Frederick. How are you? <laughs> I'm just embarrassing myself, don't worry. Why is this not working? There's like, there, there's a point in time where you have to not press the space bar, and then you gotta press it again. So yeah, let's first get this, landing in the water. Swim as fast as I can. Can I ride Frederick in the water? I don't think I can. He can swim on his own, but not with me on his back. I can understand. Uh, Shrine of Life. Use the magic flute so that we can activate it. Awesome stuff. So we're at the Yonka Plains now. Again, I mean, we've been here the whole time. Let's check this out. This is Kodan's Tower, and it is also one star. Or Ikadan's Tower. It has an eye in front of it. So let's try this out. This is a really cool looking thing. I just sort of wish I found this stuff first with how low level it is. Actually, no, this is blue. Okay, maybe it lied to me. Weird, or maybe there's just not like an active objective here. So it's not gonna actually tell me what's going on. Anyways, oh, you actually stunned me. Too bad it didn't actually do any damage. Uh, there we go, maybe, sort of. Uh, boom, stunned you, took you out, not bad. We can still go up this tower a little bit. But yeah, I guess there's gestures to deal with now. Very funny. This guy's a sorcerer. These guys don't even notice me. Whoa, whoa, that was a pretty big explosion. I did take some damage there. I do gotta be careful. What was that? Uh, oh, is there something out here? Oh, hey. Whoa, this guy's legendary. Um, I was not ready for you right now. Uh. And you're done. <laughs> okay, what is out here? Anything? I don't think so. I'll go ahead and eat an apple real quick. Look at the apples giving me 32 health with each bite. Uh, I think that's because definitely all the regeneration. So regeneration doesn't mean you heal on your own, it just means that your healing items will heal you more. Was that the only legendary thing? No, there might be. Magic crystal, whoa, hold on. Gotta get the sorcerer first. Boom, stunned him, slice and dice him. He has a lot of health. Actually, this is problematic right now. Um, I might need to back it up. I'm gonna fly back down if I can, just like that, and then switch to this. Ah, he's right on top of me, come on! I just needed like two more seconds to actually drink the life of potion. Or potion of life, life potion, whatever it is. You know what I mean, we're getting back out there. That was me being a dingus, being bad at the game. <laughs> what do you know? Um, but we can do better. So I'll get back out there. Cause it's only right here. So I guess I might have been Ikadan himself, if I had to guess. But yeah, now it says it's legendary. I didn't say that before. It didn't say that until we got to the top of it. But you know what? I have never been more up to the task to tackle something legendary like this, so let's go for it again. If I could get rid of his little flying friend first. I don't know if that'll actually happen though. I don't know where his flying friend went. I mean, both of them are down there still, I think. Examine it. It doesn't work. It doesn't do anything. Um, there he is. Okay. Ow, I got stunned because I'm a dingus. I'm the biggest dingus of all time. You're kidding me, that wasn't fair because I stunned myself because of course I did. Ah, so he should be up here again. But where exactly, there he is. Come on, come on. Actually, he doesn't have his health back, which is nice. Oh my gosh. Dude, you're kidding me. That is insane. Why does he hit so hard? Like I get it, because he's legendary, but I feel like that's like crazy more than I'm expecting. I'm gonna try it again, but I don't know anymore. <laughs> Luckily we have a lot of health potions, but before I even get the chance to think about using them, he knocks me out. It's crazy. Okay, so I'm just trying to see. He's right here. What are my chances of hitting him? And oh gosh, now he's down here. Look at him float. Like the legendary monster he is. 
Come on, come on, come on. He's down to 6,000 now. Oh gosh, but then the flames come down. I don't know what you do about that. But you know what, if his health doesn't go away, then we know what to do. Oh, he's going back into his tower. He's like, I'm tired of this stuff. I gotta go take my nap. Not if I have anything to say about Mr. Mage. Where is he? Is he just in here or did he climb up the steps? Oh, he's like, oh, you come back, huh? Yes, I came back. Come on, just a little bit more. I mean, I totally cheated, but we get to keep his wand, or keep his pompous wood wand. Gem Bart Splendid Silk Shoulder Armor. Cool. All right, well, we got some sweet stuff there, but we're not quite done. I need to get up this way and take out the evil Beat of Doom. Whatever, there's Bloom Lang. There we go. We should be able to get him, no problem. I mean, I say no problem. There's a mild amount of problems there, but it's okay. Uh, I wanna get that set up, and we will do that. Not bad. Okay, so now we're gonna be all healed. I'm looking forward to seeing what's going on with this crystal on the top. Hopefully something good. Let's take a look for ourselves. Oh, I can beat it up now. Whoa, and that gave us the Sublime Iron Fist of Torbor. I won't be using it, but it's at least good to see. Anything else exciting I can see in the distance? Um, I was already there, so don't get excited about that. I don't think so, so I think now is the best time to move over here towards our thing. So that's gonna be in the direction of the shrine. So yeah, let's just do this. There we go. I'm gliding. And if I could just get over here, ah, I'm not gonna be able to. I tried though. No, <laughs> oh, no. Ow. Yikes. Oh well. Where's uh, Frederick at? We're gonna ride Frederick into the distance and just try to get the land in our lake and get our boat. Oh, what are these things? Oh, they're insect guards. I think we've seen these guys before. Is that the big one? Yeah, that's the boss. I'm gonna fight him. There we go. Build this up to 100%. There it is. And he's finished. Got some decent stuff there. What do you think you're doing? Get back down here. Okay, where's your friends at? I always come and try to save the day. Not gonna happen. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Hop back on the Frederick. Oh, we got some more frogs to talk to. The frogs are everywhere in this land, in Anka Plains. Hello, one day I'll be the best rogue in history. Yeah, I'm working on the climbing spikes. I actually don't know where the climbing spikes are. Oh, right here, yeah, that's right. So we'll do that today too, I'm, I'm pretty sure. We'll have to see. Actually, I might be running out of time for today's episode. I'm just realizing how much time has passed. I've been having so much fun. Uh, we'll just go ahead and take out whatever's in our way, I think along the way. It's like these chillings, not a problem. What were you trying to dodge? Oh, we dropped the flask, that's good. Um, oh, that was just a, another one of those roots. Okay, well, I at least got that. There we go. Try to get this guy a little bit. Okay, not bad. Might go in the right way still, I think. Oh, get the bush. Very nice. Just trying to grab what I can where I can. Oh, another little rabbit up this way. I did buy a different uh, thing, but I don't think that the, the rabbits ever level up. Or any pet does. It'd be cool if they did, if you could train them up with the more you're with them. I mean, I should actually take a look. I mean, you're at 1,233, so I'm pretty sure you scale with me. Now, the other ones only had one or two under health. So I don't know how that works, but I, I, I would have guessed that it would scale with me. They don't like level up or anything. That would be so cool though. So here's the lake. We are, oh, Terrier's again. Hi, Terrier. No, I didn't mean to attack you, Terrier, I'm sorry. But what I am looking to do, oh, there's the boat. Okay, let's go get it. <laughs> that didn't work, that's fine. It just chilled out in the middle of the lake. All righty, I mean, I'll grab it. You received the boat. You are now ready to sail the waters of Anka Plains. So now if we just go into the water, what do we do? Um, boat. Yeah, look at this. Whoa, this is like really cool. We move so quickly. I love it. 
<laughs> that's fantastic. So with that being said, I think that's where we're gonna wrap it up for today's episode. Next time, we will try to make more progress through, I guess, this section right here of um, Anka Plains. Maybe it'll be the last episode in Anka Plains at this rate, who knows? Um, but with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Cube World. Before you go, be sure to comment Legendary Zebra, so any you've watched the end of the you're a Zebra-tastic viewer. Also subscribe to join the Zebra Herd. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.